Hi, my name is Natha Mahathana, or known as Bo, a democracy activist in Thailand. Today, I'd like to express my solidarity with the Hong Kongers for their fight for freedom and democracy. And I'd like to do so by reading out a petition written by Glacier Chung Ching Kwong, posted in change.org, to call for the EU to support Hong Kongers' fight for freedom and human rights. I will also put the link below and I will urge everyone to sign in the petition and stand with Hong Kong. Dear President Tusk, President Junker, and President Sassoli, I'm writing to bring your attention to the situation in Hong Kong regarding recent protests and the societal environment in Hong Kong and hope to initiate a dialogue between Hong Kongers and the European unions. The union is founded on the engagement to promote and pledge itself obligated to protect human rights worldwide. Its founding treaty stipulates that the union's action on the global arena ought to be guided by principles including the universality and indivisibility of human rights and fundamental freedoms. Respect of human dignity. The Union has always been one of the major partners of Hong Kong in many aspects. The European Parliament has recently passed a motion for resolution regarding the protests happened earlier, supporting the civil society in Hong Kong. Therefore, I would love to urge your further support for Hong Kongers in their fight for freedom and human rights. Hong Kong played a vital role in the global financial and trade sector. The shutting down of the airport on the 12th of August have caused damage worldwide and Europe-wide. The situation in Hong Kong is not merely affecting Hong Kongers, but also the world. Freedom and human rights are the foundation of Hong Kong's prosperity and its role as an international financial center. Moreover, the growing influence of China worldwide has been a concern for many states, and it is said that we are in the new Cold War. If that is true, then Hong Kong is the new Berlin. Hong Kong stands between the free world and the Chinese Communist Party or CCP regime. Rocking by our largest protests in decades, we were opposing against the fugitive offenders and mutual legal assistance in criminal matters legislation amendment, Bill 2019, or extradition law, which many foreign states, including the EU, has raised concern over the extradition law. Now that has turned into a social movement fighting for freedom and human rights and our outcry for freedom and human rights are on solid grounds. In 1984, UK and China signed the Sino-British Joint Declaration, an international bilateral treaty bound by the Vienna Convention on Hong Kong's future after the handover scheduled in 1997. It guarantees Hong Kongers' fundamental rights and freedoms, including freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and freedom of assembly. One country, two systems principle is stated in the joint declaration, promising Hong Kongers could retain our own economic and administrative system for 50 years. However, the Chinese government had been tightening the grip on Hong Kong since the handover in 1997. In 2003, the bill commonly known as Article 23 was tabled to legislature. It defined subversion against the CCP regime as attempt to intimidate the central government. It would hugely threaten the city's freedom of speech and assembly. The bill was shelved after a massive demonstration. In 2012, the HKSAR government attempted to implement a biased national education curriculum denouncing democratic values and praising the CCP as advanced and selfless. The proposal was postponed indefinitely 
after a massive protest. However, it is found that different parts of the original proposal were implemented in school separately in later years. China has never ceased to deprive Hong Kong from their fundamental rights and freedom. Numerous activists are being put behind bars for unlawful assembly and rioting. In 2014, China defined, denied universal suffrage for Hong Kong and sparked off the massive civil disobedience movement known as the Umbrella Revolution. After 79 years of 79 days of occupation, the police doused the protesters by force, including pepper spray and tear gas. Recently, nine campaigners have been convicted of the leading roles in the movement. Hong Kongers, freedom of speech and the right to be elected are also suppressed. In 2015, booksellers selling banned book, including Lam Wing Ki, disappeared. It is suspected that Lam was kidnapped by the Chinese officials in Hong Kong. One year later, an area in central Hong Kong was leased to China under a custom arrangement adopted for the high-speed railway connecting China and Hong Kong. Chinese laws could be enforced in Hong Kong. Principle of one country, two systems is violated. In 2016, six elected legislators are being disqualified by China and two were put into jail for entering the legislative chamber before the disqualifications. And, and candidates were banned from running for office in the legislative election that year due to their political stance. In 2016, in a protest against the street hawkers crackdown, police used batons, pepper spray, and fired warning shots in the crowd to disperse the crowd. The government classified the, the incident as a riot on the other morning. More than 100 people are arrested, 33 are charged with riots, and they are put behind bars. Edward Lung, a young activist, was put behind bars for six years. While other activists, Lo Kin Man faced the longest imprisonment in the incident for seven years. Three activists fled Hong Kong. Ray Wong and Alan Lee were granted subsidiary status in German, while Li Xinyi fled to Taiwan. In 2019, this year, the government introduced the extradition law that allows suspects to be transferred to China, where there is no guarantee for fair trials and is notorious for its human rights violations. On the 9th of June, one million people took to the streets in protest of the bill. The police used disproportionate force to disperse the protesters. Later, two million people marched onto the streets again. However, the government merely postponed the bill, but never suspended the bill. On the 12th of June, Hong Kong police once again used disproportionate and illegitimate force on Hong Kong citizens. They were not wearing visible tags, either with the names of the officials, nor a number identifying them. Up till now, the government-backed police have fired 1,800 shots of tear gas, 400 bean bag rounds, and rubber bullets. The police shot protesters, first aiders, and journalists aiming at their head. A lady was shot in the eye and lost her eyesight forever. Numerous were injured. Police further hindered hurt protesters and the scene from receiving medical aid and arrest those who sought medical aid in hospitals. Such acts are undoubtedly blatant violations of human rights laws and standards. In July, 
Protest protesters and innocent pedestrians were attacked by the suspected triad members on the streets and in the underground. More protesters are assembly and assemblies took place. Civil servants, lawyers, medical staff, and other professionals have signed petition and participated in assemblies and also joined the strike to fight for the government's response. The police have been damaging Hong Kong freedom of assembly by banning rallies and protests and caused more conflicts between the police and protesters. In August, Police stormed enclosed underground stations, firing tear gas in an indoor area to force out protesters. They fired rubber bullets from only a one to two meter away from the protesters. Protesters are beaten up by batons and on an escalator. A member of the Student Association of the Baptist University was arrested because of his purchase of laser pointers on the street. The police claim that those are offensive weapons. Abuse of force by the police has become part of our daily routine. To this point, nearly 600 Hong Kongers are arrested. However, the governments and our chief executive responded to these incidents, saying that the protesters have no stake in the society. In the light of this, I would love to urge for your attention to the human rights violations and support for Hong Kongers demand for freedom and human rights. I sincerely hope that the European Union would stand with Hong Kong to protect fundamental freedoms and human rights, which are the pillars of Hong Kong as an international financial center. It is hoped that a dialogue can be initiated so that the union can be updated with the development of Hong Kong. The petition is raised by Glossier Chung Ching Kuang. Now we can go in the link I put below and sign in this petition together. Like Martin Luther King once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Stand with Hong Kong.